Welcome to the World Tarot. This is a, the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 14th of December. I almost said 14th of January. For the 14th of December 2021. Holy Spirit, show me the Divine Masculines. We need to hear these messages today. Holy Spirit, who are the Divine Masculines? We need to hear these messages today. Show me the Divine Masculines. When I was um, removing the energy from the cards, I kept seeing the King of Cups and my cards kept flipping out. Especially the King of Cups kept fl flipping out of the deck here. Now I've got the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, this Masculine wants to offer something. They want to make a, a, a small gesture towards the Feminine possibly. They could also be focused on their work, on creating something. Well, the Queen of Swords here, this is like the Feminine. I think this is the Feminine. The Feminine is guarded towards them. So the Masculine might make a small gesture because they're afraid of the Feminine's reaction, possibly. Also, the Masculine could be in this Queen of Swords energy, too. They're in a more Feminine energy. Six of Cups, yeah, definitely the Masculine wants to bring a gift and some flowers, possibly, to the Feminine here. They're thinking about the feminine a lot and how they can go towards her. And the feminine. I said the feminine and I got the queen of swords. So yeah, that's the feminine. The feminine's energy towards the masculine is like this back to back. She's turned her back on the masculine. Okay, she's turned her back but not really. <laughs> it's like the feminine is in two minds. about the But in a positive way. It's like the feminine... Um, is thinking and feeling um, th their mind and their heart are coming together the The feminine has really managed to uh, make this kind of alchemy between their heart and their mind the feminine can reconcile her, her thoughts and her feelings so she's very balanced in her yin and her yang here but there could also be a third party but I'm, I'm getting that th these are two sides of the feminine. So even though she's kind of... The masculine feels like she's turned her back on him. She still loves him. Okay, so... That's what I'm getting here. And she's finding her footing. She's finding her balance. She's standing in her power as a feminine here. So this is like... Um, when it comes to... I was thinking about um, an old crone... And a young maiden. Because like the queen of swords is usually the oldest. You know, it's like the old and wise one. And the queen of cups is like the youngest. They're wet between the years, behind the years. Wet behind the between the years. That's really bad if they're wet between the years. <laughs> okay, that's hydrocephalia. So no, we don't want that. Behind the years, okay. <laughs> okay, anyway... So the feminine is, her heart is still open towards the masculine, but her mind is like fighting him off. You see how the Queen of Cups is looking that, at him, but the Queen of Swords is looking away. Anyway, the Queen of Hearts and the Queen of Swords are at least looking at e each other. So the feminine has reconciled like her dark and her light, you know, her mind and her um, spirit. Right, so the feminine is standing in her power. The masculine's coming as a knight because they're kind of scared, I think, of her reaction. They're not bringing in a big offer here. They're just trying to offer something. At least they're making some kind of moves, right? Because the kings are usually sitting down. So it's not bad that he's coming as a knight because it means that he's actually taking action towards her even if it's moving slowly. Because the kings are just sitting there though, right? Right, okay. So what kind of action does the masculine want to take towards the feminine? What kind of action does the masculine want to take towards the feminine? Well, like I said, they might want to bring a gift and flowers and stuff. What action does he want to take after that? They want a new beginning with the feminine. They want to let go of the past and start fresh. Start from zero, right? The fool is zero. Five of Pentacles. They feel left out in the cold. What's the Five of Pentacles? It's like, you know what? It's like the masculine would rather be with the feminine in, in, in poverty, out in the cold, than to be alone. 
right? But that's not a good sign. That means the masculine is not happy by themselves, is not um, happily single, as they say. What's with this Five of Pentacles? What's with the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, it's like, I'd rather be with you out in the cold and suffering than be alone. So that's a poverty mentality. That's like a very low vibration. The, the feminine seems to be in a much higher vibration. She's reconciled with herself here. With her, the good, the bad, and the ugly. But the masculine is not there yet. He's far from it, actually, with the Five of Pentacles. What's with the Five of Pentacles, please? The Three of Cups. Okay, they feel separated from the ma uh, the feminine. The masculine feels separated from the feminine, and they want to reconcile in the 3D. It's like they're together in the 5D, but they want to be together in the 3D. Six of Wands, they want to have a victory. They want to have a celebration. Okay. <sighs> they want to end the separation. Okay, so um, how is he going to come towards the feminine? How is the masculine going to come towards the feminine? Three of Wands. Ten of Wands, Five of Cups. He's going to say sorry, right? He's going to apologize. He's letting their third parties. They're dropping other options. They're dropping their burdens. And um, the, the bur one of the burdens could be apologizing to the feminine. Maybe they found it hard to show remorse for bad behavior or something. I don't know. And now they're trying to like wash away their sins <laughs> towards the feminine. Ace of Wands. They also want Ace of Wands there. Okay, so the, the 6th of March or the 3rd of June. Also the 3rd of October or the 10th of March could be significant for somebody here. Right, so the masculine wants to make some changes here in their life. They want to drop some burdens and make some changes. What are these changes that they want to make? 25 could be significant. This could be Christmas Day. Maybe they, they're going to think a lot about you on Christmas Day, King of Cups. They're going to miss you. They might even contact you on Christmas or they might turn out turn up on Christmas Day with the 25 here. Also, the 5th of February or the 2nd of uh, May could be significant for somebody that's in Aquarius or Taurus season. Those are fixed signs, though. So this masculine could be fixated on the feminine. Also, the masculine could be kind of stubborn, but they're trying to make some changes here. This is a Scorpio transformation. And I was talking about the fact that the, 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 the King of Cups kept coming up when I was uh, shuffling the cards when um, to prepare for the Divine Masculine reading. This could be 25 days also. Some, something might be happening within 25 days of today. What day is today? It's 14. So in the middle of... Um, around the middle of uh, January, something might be happening. Okay. Right, so the masculine really does feel like the feminine is their counterpart. They, they love her. Right, okay, so... What else is happening for masculine today? Eight of Pentacles, they're working hard on something. Maybe on how to propose, how to express themselves. They could be preparing... Um, something what are they preparing no because you're um, we're not supposed to know because it's a surprise <laughs> what is it what's the eight of pentacles maybe they're just working uh oh three of swords they're working on their on healing their heartbreak that's four of pentacles so the masculine um has been very guarded with their heart because of being heartbroken. Seven of Pentacles. They're contemplating. They're working on um, on their healing, right? 
they're trying to let go of again this is uh, Taurus again it's a fixed sign so that the masculine feels kind of stuck in their healing process but they're trying to to get through it they're trying to plant the seeds here to move forward but this masculine is still suffering because of uh, past hurts again healing they're they're working on healing taking a break and healing understanding their themselves getting out of confusion Th this kind of was in the reverse right so they're trying to get out of conflict and confusion and this masculine could have third parties that they need to get away from too oh my god that's so weird look 999 it's like the angels are assisting this masculine in, in their in trying to get out of their head right queen of wands and with the 999 this could be like a spirit guide or an angel so the masculine does have an angel on his shoulder but the eight of swords is like the devil it's like restriction right so this is the angel and this is the devil and 999 is like the holy spirit is with him but there's also the the devil on the other shoulder right ace of pentacles right so we'll this is like up to the masculine if they're going to choose what the angel says or the the devil here okay ten of pentacles they're going to choose the ten of pentacles they're they want to create a legacy they want to let go of the painful past walk away from the painful past again walk away walk away and go to to their heart healing right to where their heart is Home is where the heart is, there with the Divine Feminine. So they're trying to find their way back to the Divine Feminine, back to their home. Okay, so there you go. That's in, This is too short. The Divine Feminine was very long. This one's very short. I just saw 12. 12 is midnight, right? It's the end. Yep, so let's finish it here then. Bye.